Hello, I'm Gail Street and welcome to Paths to the Present. I'm here at the Emergency Communications Center for Fire and Rescue in Rockville. As you can see, it's a very busy place. Last year, 611,000 911 calls were received here, resulting in over 98,000 incidents dispatched by the county's 19 local fire departments. It's a sophisticated system designed to bring the best possible fire and rescue protection to the citizens of this county. But how did firefighting get its start in Montgomery County? On today's show, we'll look at the history of firefighting in our county and we'll visit a brand new fire museum in Gaithersburg. But first, I have a history mystery for you. Do you know what this is? The stainless steel sphere is covered with holes. The base is threaded so it can be secured onto something while the top turns. Think you know what it is? Stay tuned. I'll give you the answer at the end of the show. Organized firefighting in Montgomery County began around the turn of the last century. Before that, if a man's house caught on fire, he got his wife and children out, but then shouted to the neighbors to fill their buckets. While that system was great for building neighborly cooperation, it wasn't very effective for putting out fires. In fact, many of the earliest organized firefighting efforts emerged from great losses due to fires. On December 29, 1893, a fire broke out in Tacoma Park. Nearly the entire business section was destroyed. The following year, the Tacoma Park Volunteer Fire Department was formed. In 1914, the Sam Waters House, which served as Silver Springs Post Office, burned to the ground. One year later, the Silver Spring Volunteer Fire Department was chartered. While Rockville had installed waterworks and hydrants in 1897, firefighting efforts were not formalized until 1921, after a fire threatened Rockville's entire business district. And so it went. As communities grew, they found they no longer could depend solely on their neighbors for fire protection. Members of each community stepped forward to offer to be available in case of an emergency. Early firefighting in Montgomery County consisted of two-wheeled, hand-drawn hose reels. Water came from nearby wells, ponds, or streams. In 1918, the Suburban Sanitary Commission was formed, providing pressurized water and fire hydrants. This, along with the development of a road system, set the stage for the expansion of fire departments throughout the county. Money was raised to purchase and maintain the equipment. Ladies' auxiliaries were formed to help in the fundraising efforts. Before the proliferation of telephones, citizens alerted fire stations of an emergency through these call boxes. They were situated throughout a community and linked directly to their station. In addition, firefighters were alerted to a fire using sirens. This one came from the community of Tacoma Park. When the alarm sounded, Volunteers dropped whatever they were doing to respond to the fire. The earliest trucks were open cab pumpers like this one. After World War II, the county's population swelled, and so did the fire departments. Trucks were updated. This type of truck was used by many of the departments in the 1950s. In the 60s, numbers of calls were increasing, making it difficult for volunteers to handle them all. Paid firefighters were hired, a trend that changed firefighting in this county forever. Today, most stations are staffed by career firefighters and supplemented by volunteers. The stations remained independent until 1988, when all fire and rescue services were brought under the auspices of the county government. So, have you figured out this month's history mystery? This cellar nozzle is used to put out fires in basements. After attaching it to a hose and drilling a hole in the floor, it is dropped down into the floor below. The water pressure causes it to spin, acting like a sprinkler. <laughs> 